Hi friends, if you are new to Momo's mobile app, don't worry, this video will help you to get up to speed in no time and you should be ready to start investing by the end of it. If you haven't gotten an account yet, feel free to sign up using my link down below and get 100 ringgit worth of cash rewards when you deposit more than 1000 ringgit. Or you can also get a guaranteed fractional shares bundle worth over 400 ringgit when you deposit 10,000 ringgit. Hurry up because this promotion lasts for a limited time only. And before we begin, if you haven't checked out my complete beginner's guide to Momo, just pause this video over here and head on over this video to find out how to register for an account, how to fund it, convert currency, how to trade, etc, etc. Okay, so now that's sorted, you have an account and basically you set up the backbone of it, you'll find your watch list the first thing you log into the app. For beginners, I know the user interface might look a little bit overwhelming at first, but don't worry, it's actually quite intuitive. At first glance, you will find a list of few pre-selected stocks if you are a new member. If you are not interested in any of them, just simply click on one and tap the heart icon on the top right corner to remove it from your watch list. Now, personally, I find the watch list one of the best features of the app because it's basically like my personal list of interesting stocks and it's also especially important for those of you that are just starting out because when I first started investing, it was such a struggle to stay organized. And let's admit, the stock market can be pretty overwhelming even now with its endless stream of numbers and complex charts but when this watch list came along it simplified so much of that allowing me to have my eyes only on the stocks that i care about and plus it lets me monitor and study the behavior and performance of certain stocks from time to time because individual stock investing requires more attention especially when things change really fast on a sometimes quarterly basis and sometimes even on a monthly period. And you combine this with the featured news, it takes so much less mental energy to learn about market trends and potential impacts of global events. So go ahead and create your own and you will be able to track the stocks that might be worth investing in the future for yourself. You can do this by entering the name of your desired stock or company on the search bar above and instantly you can just hide it on the site over here and add it into your watch list. Or you know, you can just click into any stock or ETF and do it on the top right here as well. And now, speaking of news, you know how keeping up with every single press release, article, etc can be so tiresome, right? Well, at the bottom menu tab, there is a button that says discover. Click on that and you'll be brought to this page. Then just click into news. This is basically a hub for all things Momo and trading related. If you are like me and you just don't have the time to sift through tens, sometimes hundreds of useless articles, just come to this tab, which you can also access them through any stocks or ETFs individual page. Just click into the news button and Momo themselves will sort out only the best and most important news from reputable and premium sources like Bloomberg, Market Watch, and Reuters straight to you. So start simple, pick a few stocks that interest you and watch them. Trust me, your future self will definitely thank you for this organized approach. All the useful information about the stock is displayed clearly. If you want to know more about the say post-market data, just simply click on the text and there will be a drop down tab showing the data for that particular time frame. And below that there are the charts, options, comments, news and company tabs you can enter by clicking on them. And alternatively, you can just swipe left and right across the sections. The company tab is particularly important to me because this is where the biggest part of crucial information you will need to know about a company or a stock in this case before you even invest your hard-earned money into them. You can find the company management and also the financial statements over here like income statement, balance sheet and also cash flow statement all real ready for you to access. And here's a quick tip for your fundamental research. The main metrics you should usually focus on are revenue and revenue growth, profit margins, earnings growth, and cash flow. Because together, these metrics provide you a big picture of a company's operational effectiveness, financial health, and also growth prospects. What do I mean by that? Well. 
Fundamental research gives you three main benefits. One, you can determine if a stock is undervalued or overvalued. Undervalued stocks are ones that are being sold for a price that is believed to be below its true value. The true value is how much the stock really should be worth when you consider all aspects of the company's financial health. As Warren Buffett once said, it's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. And on the other hand, overvalued stocks are the exact opposite. So they are priced way higher than what they are intrinsically worth. Basically, they priced in a lot of hype in future values. So obviously, you are at a higher risk of massive market losses. If the market adjusts the price downward to more accurately reflect the company's actual worth once the hype dies down or performance fails to meet expectations, a lot of things can happen. A great example of this would be Tesla. The company's market share in China dropped from 10.5% at the beginning of 2023 to 6.7% by the end of the fourth quarter and its share price has declined more than 30% over the same period of time. So as you can see here, the share price of growth companies like Tesla is as volatile as it can be in the short term. Hence why you will need to have a good understanding of what the company is doing and what you are getting yourself into before you invest your hard earned money. And remember, price is what you pay, value is what you get. Don't overpay for something if the valuation is not right. So at the very least, try to utilize the valuation metrics provided in the Momo app to access the price you are paying versus the value you are getting in return. And number two, with fundamental research, you can kind of tell the future or at least make an educated guess about the direction of their future performance as I like to call it. Meaning, you can gain insight into how well a company is positioned for future success and who knows, future failure as well. Like for example, back in 2020, there was this hydrogen car company called Nikola that got their share price skyrocketed thanks to the hype on electric vehicles. And the market even thought that hydrogen could replace EVs and be the next clean energy source for vehicles. But you know, surely enough, because I was working in a company that have researched a lot on clean energy and thanks to that, I have certain knowledge about the economics of fuel cell and hydrogen. I came to learn that hydrogen was not a commercially viable option yet because it was too expensive to produce them by splitting water and it was also very very expensive to transport hydrogen from one place to another. And guess what? Surely enough, Nikola and his hydrogen dream vaporized into thin air and all the hype and narrative crafted by their salesman CEO was simply a scammy narrative and it was never a commercially scalable technology to even begin with. And thirdly, fundamental research helps you to identify trends in the market by analyzing these metrics over time. Trends are, as I like to call them, hard to quantify because it's like trying to guess what people will like next and experience tells me that most of us are always led to a trend if you are not attentive to the actual economy. Just know this, if you are only investing into a trend by the time it hits the news headline every single places, then you are most likely too late to it and could be buying at its top just like the EV bubble and who knows, the AI bubble as well. And besides the financial statements which you can find all over the app, there are also other ways to scout for stocks as well and Momo Malaysia has seriously made it so much easier with their stock screener. It's a little bit more advanced but it can also give you better utility. You can find it by clicking on the market tab at the bottom then select your desired country on the sliding menu over here. I'm going to click here on the United States. And when you're in the country tab, simply click on the screener and you'll be given the option to choose from screening either stocks or options options and for the sake of this video, I'll just use the stock one. Now create a screener and you'll be given this giant menu of possible filters. This specific tool simplified the way I approach research because it lets me filter by industry type, market cap, financial ratios and so many more. Sometimes I just use this for a quick search 
on a specific industry because it's super super handy to be able to know all of this information without hours and hours of online research. Let me just give you a quick tour on these main filters. Range allows you to filter your search according to these countries or stock exchanges. US, Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Japan, China, Australia, and Canada. And in description, you can adjust the price you're looking for, percentage changes, the amplitude, etc. More so for traders, so I'll skip this part. And next, valuation indicators include the most important ratios like the price to equity ratio, price to booking, price to sales ratio, etc. And as its name goes, valuation indicators simply help you to indicate whether a stock is overvalued or undervalued relative to its different performance metrics. I'll skip shareholders and technical since it's mainly for traders looking to capitalize on the volatility of the trading volume and technical indicators as well. Analyst ratings, huh? this is actually something that is less useful to me but can be quite fun to take a look at sometimes just to see the sentiment of the market. Like you can see which company is rated a strong buy or strong sell and they are not necessarily correct or wrong, it's just another tool for you to see the reasoning behind these ratings. Per share is also another tab for you to sort companies based on their earnings per share. Sometimes, sometimes I say investors use this as one of the key tools to value a company, especially if you chart out their EPS growth or decline. It can give you a good indicator whether a company is moving in the right direction or not. And the profitability tab is something that I personally like a lot as well, especially for metrics like operating margin, ROA, ROE, net margin, all of these are basically shortcuts to tell how profitable or how effective a company's business model is. And there are also growth, efficiency and liquidity filters that provides you a lot of different other financial ratios which you can take some time outside of this video to study about. I know it's a lot of stuff but eventually, these are part of the quantitative analysis that every investors need to go through if you want to up your investing game. But just in case you are not sure how to use the stock screener, no problem, you can exit to one page earlier and scroll through the samples provided by Momo and you can even learn the common metrics used by Warren Buffett for his value stock picking. Very neat feature if you ask me. Now, speaking of upping your investing game, one of the features that helped me a lot is their calendars. You can find this by going to the same market tab, then scroll down and same as before, pick the region you want to look at. So US, Malaysia and Singapore. Scroll down and you will find these three calendars, dividend calendar, earnings calendar and economic calendar. The economic calendar gives you a bird's eye view of all major economic events that could influence the market. So here's a pro tip. Just jot or mark down these 7 key indicators and you are good to start. Firstly, the Federal Funds Effective Rate or FFR for short or commonly known as DE interest rate. Then we have Consumer Price Index CPI, Producer Price Index PPI, Unemployment Rate, Treasury Yield Curve and Purchasing Managers Index PMI and total business inventories to sales ratio. These seven economic indicators are what I personally track most closely to get a big picture of where the economy is standing at the moment and where it might be heading as well. And next, we have the earnings calendar. This is perfect for those of you who want better insight on how a company performed for the quarter or even the financial year. And it helps me so much because I'm constantly updated on their growth and financial well-being. Every big company you can think of, Apple, Amazon, McDonald's, this calendar shows you the exact dates when they are scheduled to release their earnings reports. And this is very, 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 very important because these announcements can often lead to unpredictable changes in prices of a company's stock. And lastly, we have the dividend calendar. For those of you that invest in dividend paying stocks, this is literally a gem because this tells you when dividends are expected to be paid out, meaning you can plan cash flow way ahead of time and ensure you own the stock at the right time to receive the said dividends. And that's a wrap. We have now gone through some of my favorite features of the Momo app that you need to get started. There's obviously tons of more intricate features that I did not cover but 
please feel free to explore them yourselves. Remember, whether you are a newbie stepping into this new world of investing or you have already been trading for years and years, Mumu Malaysia seriously has something for everyone, investors or traders. And trust me, this app is just warming up. Again, feel free to use my link down below or click here to receive amazing rewards when you sign up for Mumu Malaysia Universal account. And if you have any questions, comment down below and I welcome all sorts of questions. Remember, it's free to us, but it's not free to answer. Until then, if you haven't checked out my previous video on Mumu Malaysia, click here to find out more about them. See you over there.